Hi guys, uh, welcome to your tuk-tuk. This is a Bajaj RE, which is kind of the most common kind of tuk-tuk you're going to find here in Sri Lanka. Uh, there's a couple of other types out and about, but they're not too different. So we're going to start by getting you guys familiar with this one. If you want to come over and have a look in the hot seat, we can talk about what all the different parts are. I'm going to jump around the other side. Okay, obviously just like a motorcycle, you've got the handlebars in the middle. On the left hand side here, you've got the gear selector and the clutch lever. Wait, the... let me go closer. Okay. <laughs> On the right hand side, you've got the throttle, the accelerator, the magic button. Um, a few things to play with along here, you've got your indicator switch. Left, right, and in the middle is neutral. You've got a high beam selector, so if you want your extra, head, extra bright headlights, pop that one on, pop that one back off. Your windscreen wiper on the small knob on the right hand side here, on and off. You have got your headlights, all the way down is on, and all the way back up is off. And most importantly, you've got the horn on the right hand side. Beep, I haven't beep. got the ignition on, so it hasn't beeped. Sam has beeped for me. What else have we got in here? On the front left hand side, you've got your speedometer. Now the national driving limit for a um, three-wheeler in Sri Lanka is 40 kilometers an hour in the middle here. Um, off the record, they will happily go up to 50, 60. 70 just be, downhill. Just be careful that you don't get caught. On the right hand side, there's not much to see here beyond this very useful green light, that little end there when you're in the neutral gear, that's gonna light up. So um, that's really important for knowing when you can start your tuk-tuk. What other things have we got? In the tuk-tuks that we provide, we give you guys all of the documentation you might need. So, in the left-hand glove box, if I can find the right key, you will find paperwork for the tuk-tuk. You've got the insurance card, and you've got the, it's kind of the road tax for Sri Lanka, so this is a really important document. Um, these live safely in there. We re recommend that you guys keep your driving licenses in there as well. That way everything's in one place if you ever got stopped by the police, which is something we're going to talk about in another video. Keep that one locked off safely. The other thing that we give you when you hire from us is a very basic toolkit. So over here on the right hand side, you've got a few bits and bobs in there, some spanners, some screwdrivers and a pair of pliers. Chances are you're not going to need them, but they are there in case you need them. What else have we got? Get that locked off. Fantastic. Down here, this little black lever, this is the choke. Um, the normal position for this is in, but if you do find it sometimes a little bit harder to start the engine, perhaps when it's cold in the morning, do feel free to pull it out. That just controls the amount of air going into the engine and gives you a better chance of starting it if the weather's cold or if it's, if it's misbehaving slightly. Just don't forget to push that back in when you're driving normally. Obviously the ignition over this side with a big red button, always push the big red button. Um, we're going to come onto that later in our driving video. Other controls, we've got the handbrake. Wait, you can't see it, it's too dark. I'm going to get out. Down the bottom here you've got the handbrake, simple black lever, all the way down is off. Pull it back up and you are stopped. You've got your foot brake down here, which is a hydraulic foot brake. The little tank next to it here, that's your brake fluid. We're going to talk a little bit more about that when we come to doing our daily checks to make sure that you're driving safely. On the left hand side over here, you've got the magic lever. Now this, 99 times out of 100, you're never going to have to touch. Uh, it's basically the Kickstarter. Um, have a look at our problem solving video and we'll show you what that's all about. But like I said, that's mainly there if you have a problem getting it started with the battery. If you come around the other side, just two more, two more things to play with. This black selector here, every tuk-tuk comes with a six to nine litre petrol tank. Um, this position here, you can't quite see it, but the letters O-N, on, are written at the top here. That just means that your main fuel supply is connected. Turn it 90 degrees and you've turned the fuel off. Turn it another 90 degrees, so opposite to how you normally have it, and you've actually engaged a one and a half litre reserve fuel tank. Now that's great for if you run out of petrol and you just need to get somewhere, that gives you another 30 kilometers or so to go and find a petrol station and it gets you out of trouble. As soon as you've filled up with petrol, don't forget, turn it back on so that the on is on the little marker there and you're back on your main tank. Only other thing worth talking about is the reverse gear. It looks a little bit different to a reverse gear in a car. It looks more like the handbrake, but don't get them confused. Um, in our driving video, we're gonna show you how to use this, but basically lever down and you're going forwards, 
lever up and you're going backwards. But like I said, we're going to come back into that in more detail in the driving video. Um, that gives you a pretty good overview of everything inside your tuk-tuk. Uh, thanks for your time and catch us again in our next video. Cheers!